have you had any sort of clarity on the Huggins situation? Or I Oh, I have great clarity. Yeah, we had several guys miss the scrimmage yesterday with diff- for different reasons, uh, taking care of different issues of stuff they have to handle personally, stuff they have to handle for me. So we had several guys that, that weren't in the scrimmage yesterday. But um, nothing that we, you know, that, that we're not, we don't have a great handle on all of it, on, on each one of them. Do you have a timetable for when you think John Huggins will be back? Because you're looking yeah. at that depth. Yeah. Not to share that. No, no. I mean, like, just with all the guys. Like I said, I mean, he's not the only one. There's about three or four guys in that position, but I know all of them. I know you've been kind of hesitant to say anything about Huggins, and I totally understand that. Mm-hmm. Um, but as a lot of us have been looking into rumors, uh, we were made aware of a police report from October where he was accused of choking a tutor. Does his current absence have anything to do with that? No. No, that, that's all been handled. Um, and that's the, you know, that incident would be four incidents of uh, violence against women or, you know, threats of violence against women in, in criminal cases. Um, so what have you guys been doing since then? To, we do to- a lot, you know. How, I mean, how many of them were actually charged? I mean, that, that's part of it is also, I mean, there's a lot out there, you know what I mean, in – with it now, we do a lot of education on our team with that stuff. Obviously, I'm I'm a big anti-violence against women person. I'm also a person that I really want to have all the information as I make decisions and what happens in different situations. Uh, and it's one of the toughest deals in, in the world today because it's a, a every, you know it's a, it's a, it's a jump to conclusion on every detail uh, that happens sometimes. And um, the it's something that obviously it puts us as coaches, it puts you in a, sometimes a really tough decision as, as you deal with that stuff is because you want to make sure you have all that you want to give opportunity for people to have rights. Like, you know, like everybody else in the United States, um, you know, are supposed to, uh, but everybody wants to see instant what are we doing instantly? And and you try to gather facts. And we, we spend a lot of time on educating our guys, you know, of educating our guys. Obviously, we're, we're very anti-violence against women. But as you try to investigate the situations, as you try to educate guys on what happens, um, you know, one of the, the great things is educating guys on on how to make good decisions. You know, everything's about gets back to decision making. How do you make good decisions in life? Um uh, and if they are learning how to make good decisions, how to put yourself in a good situation, you know, of um, that's how we spend all our time educating our guys on those things and and trying to, to educate the team as a whole, uh, educate young people as a whole. A lot of them have never had that type of education, never even been exposed to those type of things. Maybe, in, and you can't always, you don't know what type of, what situations they've brought up, what what the norm for them is, in uh, you know a lot of guys, you know one of the one of the hardest ones, and I spend a lot of time educating is trying to learn about guys' backgrounds, all right, and and what their what they view as their norm, all right, and whether it's anything from how to go to class and do your schoolwork to violence against women to what your take on drugs are. You know, I mean, I, I've had a player once on drugs saying, I, Coach, I don't know why we do this. In my culture, smoking marijuana is, is a positive. It, is, it, it's a huge positive. It's something that is supposed that's that's embraced in our culture, in my culture. I can't do that here. It wasn't here. Uh, it was somewhere else, but you, you, just, you can't do that. Um, so we try to educate all those guys, taking in the, you know, all their backgrounds, how to educate them on making really good decisions in life, um, you know. And and in one of those, it's such a it's such a difficult deal of jumping to conclusions on, on what, what everything that's happening. What was how did you deal with the Huggins situation? I mean, we subsequently from October one, he didn't play five games. Yeah, I mean, was that part of it? That was that was part of it. I don't. I, it wasn't. I don't know if it was all of it, but that was uh, you know with all those games, you know, with part of it could be. I mean, it was a true freshman, so he was only going to play in certain games anyway uh, for us and with depth. But that there was you know his his punishment was handled when all that happened.
what's the ma how do you deal with that i guess is there a challenge of supporting the player in question and also setting a tone for the rest of the team about these kinds of things it, it is one is gathering information you know um you know and, and a lot of these I, I will say not not in his situation of of how it all how stuff happens right i mean the hardest situation when you get into for for the hardest situation a coach is going to get into in dealing with anything um in, in a lot of today's world that, that could get into a sexual assault is when you get yourself in a he said she said situation there's two different stories i guess you know that are being reported and as people it's you know uh, i hear it our job's not my job as the head coach is not to go into to investigate all of that i hear here's 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 one report here's the other report they don't match up and you know it, it's not my job to you know to really make that decision on campus um with how that works you know and it's it's my job to try to I have to manage the situation, you know, educate our players on those type of things. Um, and, you know, let the let the university process play it or the legal process play it, play its play its course. Uh, some things, yes, some things, no. Uh, 